Hello everyone, here you go. Another rose unboxing. Yay, all exciting. This time, this is my final rose uh, unboxing. I promise, because I've ordered far too many this year. Uh, this is from Trevor White Roses, and I've ordered three old-fashioned roses. And we're going to take a look at what is inside the boxes. As you can see, the boxes are all sort of stuck together, so I have three roses here. So, it's going to be interesting how you actually open it. And here we are. Once again, it's like Fort Knox to get into these boxes, but here is the first rose that I have ordered. This one is Dusky Maiden. A very beautiful uh, rose here. Oh yes, very, very beautiful dark foliage. Nice, happy and healthy. Ah, this one's not stuck to the bottom, so this one's easier to get out, so that's good. And here is the second one. This is La Reine Victoria. Look at that growth already. It's running for the hills and it looks very happy and healthy. Again, like the other one, it's, uh, it's not fixed to the bottom, but that's fine. They're both in good condition, so there's no problem there. And here is the notice from Trevor White. Please be advised that these roses have been recently potted and are best left in the pot until late May to allow a good root bowl to establish. Keep well watered before and after planting. And here is the final one. This one, oh crikey, here we go, uh, is Grus and Teplitz. I will show better pictures of these for you. But look at the growth on this already. So much growth, happy and healthy. I have bought from Trevor White in the past and I've always had very good success. But I've always bought beer root, never potted, so it's nice to see what they look like as potted roses so there you go all happy and healthy and another shipment of roses that i have to find somewhere to put <laughs> and here we are here are all the roses i've had recently all happy and healthy looking forward to all of these growing and me using some of these older roses within my breeding programs so i do recommend both um, Cottage Memories and Trevor White Roses if you live in the UK and you're looking for suppliers of potted roses this time of year. Those two are definitely the ones to go for. Although I will state that these ones I got from Cottage Memories were considerably cheaper than these guys. They were half the price but I suppose the results speak for themselves they are a lot more robust very healthy and look at dusky maiden beautiful foliage on that um, so yeah I can't fault any of them I'm just looking forward to it here is just a quick update of how the roses that I bought from Cottage Memories are doing. Um, I've left them currently in my polytunnel because the weather's been, well, a bit awful this last few days. We've had high winds and awful rain and I just want to acclimatise the new roses to um, my garden. So they're staying in here at the moment. Um, and these are the Trevor White Roses, and they have grown considerably. Um, look at the foliage on that. I love the dark of Dusky Maiden on the foliage. And this is Grus Anteplitz. Beautiful. And this is Lorraine Victoria. All this huge growth that it's putting out. So, um, yeah, they're all looking great. 
So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's lovely to have you. And um, I will be making a lot more videos showing you the progress of my uh, flowering and of other flowers in my garden as well. So thank you for watching and uh, catch you again soon.